Hello everyone. My name is Sachiketa and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm basically I'm gonna give you an update of what's going on with me for the past couple of months. I've not been as regular in making videos as I would have preferred to be. And uh, that's what I'm basically gonna be explaining in this video. You might have guessed from the title, I'm going for my masters in the US and I've been trying for my masters for the past three years now. I, and I had got an admit before, but it was not from the college that I would have wanted. This time I got into my dream college finally, which is Carnegie Mellon University. And, um, and this is gonna be a very brief video where I'm gonna talk about why I decided to pursue a masters, what factors I took into making the decision, and what field am I going to pursue my masters in, and what's that field, and what that field is about. So if you are someone who is in this field, in the field of computer science, AI, thinking about a masters, it might help you in your decision making as well. So the reason I'm doing a masters is because I've talked about it before. It gives you access to roles and opportunities which without a master's degree would not have been as easily accessible. For example, I'm particularly interested in the field of artificial intelligence and to become, let's say, an AI engineer at a company like Google or Microsoft, there is a very high degree of threshold and uh, filtering that you have to clear. So without a master's degree, that becomes harder. You have to compensate by lots of years of work experience. Yeah, you can still target other roles, but the field which I'm interested in, a master's degree would make it very quicker for me to crack that. So one is that. Second is the college I'm going to, Carnegie Mellon is a good university, but specifically when I talk about computer science and AI, it ranks itself in the top five in the world. So studying computer science based subjects, AI subjects from their professors would help me upskill a lot, something which might not have as easy doing it by myself, right? When you study it uh, from the best professors in a peer group, which are all focused on the same thing, it your learning curve becomes very steeper. So that is one reason. And third, it gives you a brand. A master's degree from a good college will give you credibility in front of employers, as well as let's say if you want to do your own startup, you go in front of investors, right? Having a master's degree is always going to increase your credibility. And talking about the, my particular course, information, my, I'm doing my master's in information systems management. A lot of people might not be well aware about what it entails, so I'll just break it down very quickly. So it's basically, you can think about it as a mix of computer science and business. So you will have core computer science subjects like let's say object oriented programming, distributed systems, database management. But you'll also have business and finance based courses like economic analysis, organizational design and implementation or decision making, professional communication and there are lots of entrepreneurial based courses. So CMU also has a good business school. So there are lots, so there is a particular course which is called as Tech Startup Build Your Own Company. So they literally teach you what it takes to build a startup from scratch, the typical mistakes that a uh, early founder would do when building their tech company, how to discover new market opportunities. So it has a lot of opportunities for entrepreneurs i would say and it's pretty exciting for me at least from the outside i don't know how it's going to turn out but so when you take this course you can still become a developer right if you focus on your core computer science subjects but if you are you would also be more suited to roles which require communication business strategy so roles like let's say a business analyst a product manager a project manager or let's say a technology consultant, right? These are the roles which will be really suited for after this degree. So there's something that you guys can think about if you are looking to pursue a master's. So people who want a tech plus managerial kind of role. So that is something I wanted to keep myself open to. And that is a brief of where I'm going. And that's also the reason why I've not been active in making videos. I'll change that. And I'll be more in this channel. I'll not speak a lot about my masters and my admit subjects. I've gotten admits from other colleges. I'll talk about that in a separate channel, which I have called as Nachi Talks. I'll leave that in the description. So that channel will be focused on masters, how to apply to the US, studying abroad. This channel will be focused on tech. So there are a lot of technical concepts that I've missed talking about, which are trending right now. Topics like generative AI, chat GPT, large language models. So I'll be more focused on that in this channel. When I go for my masters, I will believe I'll have more technical concepts to share and break down. So that is what's gonna be coming in this channel. 
So that was all for this video and I'll see you again in the next video.